it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a full-on self-care day and I'm going to show you guys my self-care routine. And self-care can mean a lot of different things, but for me, it just means taking care of me and my happiness. So today I'm prioritizing my physical health and my mental health and I'm going to show you guys all the things that I do to do that. Plus, it's currently a Sunday when I'm filming this and Sundays are usually like my reset days, preparing for a new week. So it's like the perfect time to do all my self-care stuff. But I hope this video encourages you guys to take a self-care day of your own. We all need it sometimes and we definitely all deserve it, even if it's not a full day but if you have like a night to spare do things that make you happy and ultimately just take care of you and you only life gets really hard sometimes and we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into this self-care day all right first things first we are off to the gym surprise surprise i have two favorite places in the world right now and it's my bed and the gym but i just got out of bed so we're going to the gym i'm taking the full body toning class it's every sunday at 9 30 and i've taken it before it's really good i love the instructor and we basically just work with weight and target every muscle group. I just remember being like really sore after the first time I took it though So hopefully it's not too hard on my body, but even if it is I love a good workout So it's fine, but it's a really popular class. There was only one spot left to sign up So I'm glad that I got it But yeah, I'll be seeing all my little gym friends <laughs> who are all like moms <laughs> But I'm wearing a set from white fox and I have my new hokas on feeling good I always love starting my day off with the gym or just any movement in general It just gets me going sets the right tone for the day and I always feel amazing after so definitely recommend and getting movement every single day. But anyways, let's have a great workout. I'll see you guys at the gym. Oh my gosh, you guys, that class was so good. Definitely challenging, definitely a push, but I feel like it was just what I needed. And not only did we do all those like weight stuff, we also did some ab work on the mats and then also stretch at the end. I need to stretch more. I feel like I forget every workout, like before and after, it'll help with recovery and everything. So I need to remind myself. But anyways, I need to book at home because we have church in less than an hour and I'm a sweaty mess. So I need to fix this and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now it's time for church. My family and I try to go to church every single Sunday. There's a mass at 11 a.m. and then 5 p.m. I personally like the 11 a.m. one better because I feel like it just starts my day off right and then starts off my week right. But as you guys know, my faith is really, really important to me. Every single morning I use the Bible app, the YouVersion one, and I do the daily verses, guided prayers, as well as like different plans on there. But then on Sundays especially, I just feel like so spiritually connected because even though it's only like one hour i don't know church like grounds me and it's like a safe place i can always go back to so yeah we're gonna head to church now as a family and enjoy mass church was so good as usual go out go out and tell the world share the good news share the good good news that's one of my favorite songs they sing but today's sermon was as a community be ready for god and it's okay to ask for help and share each other's gifts it'll be like a lot more beneficial if you're close with the community and knowing that it's okay to not do things by yourself another thing that i love to do is eat yummy food and spend time with my family so we are having a family lunch say hi Hello. <laughs> time. okay so mom made homemade chicken pho you guys, this is so good. We also have some egg rolls that Christian put in the That's air fryer. The and then we have a little crab right there. <laughs> it's worth beasting. This is so perfect though. I love soup. And it's been like kind of raining. Mmm. So yummy. I changed into some more comfy clothes and now the whole fam is in the living room Yay. and we're watching our family vlog right now because we always post like when church gets out so we'll just watch our vlog and then i think we'll watch a movie after this so yeah okay 
Okay, you guys, my family and I just finished watching a movie. We were watching Grown Ups 2, which is like one of our favorite Adam Sandler movies. It's so freaking funny. We love Adam Sandler movies. But now I am off to the store to buy some flowers because I don't need a man to buy me flowers. It'd be nice, but I don't need one. I can do it by myself. But I like to do this like basically every single month. It's just a really sweet gesture. They're always so pretty to look at. I put them in my room. So yeah, I hope they have pink roses because that's usually what I pick out. And then I'm also going to buy some for my parents as well. They're so pretty. So I got this one for my parents. Red roses bouquet. And yes, it's for both my parents because usually I just get flowers to my mom and then my dad gets like, what the heck? So I'm giving it to both of them. <laughs> and then these are mine. They're pink, pretty, and perfect. I love them. Now time to give them to my parents, then put them in vases and put it in my room. Tee. It's for both of you guys this time. <laughs> oh, wow. For this time. Not, not just mom. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. Do you like them? Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I set them right here on my dresser. I love them so much. Yay! Okay, now I just wanted to chat with y'all. We have Barry joining us. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys one other thing I've been trying to do this whole day that's been contributing to my self-care and it's having less screen time. So this morning I set a goal for myself to kind of stay off my screens like as much as possible and just live more in the present moment. And obviously I'm not talking about like my TV, like watching a movie with my family. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the mindless scrolling on social media. And I think we've all been there before. Like spending two to three hours on TikTok, like not even knowing. We're just scrolling post by post and it's definitely not productive, not effective. And sometimes being on social media can actually be really toxic and make your mood go down a lot. And I feel like I've noticed that in the past is that when I spend a lot of time on my phone or on social media, I'm not like the happiest or the most peaceful lately in general. I've been trying to stay more in the present moment and not be so addicted to this thing. Cause yes, it's like my job. So I'm on my phone and my laptop a lot, but like there are definitely times where I can choose to not be on it. And it's so nice when I choose not to. But let me tell you guys, I saw this post and it was like, it's okay to unfollow people online and in real life too and when I read it I feel like I resonated with it so much because I could definitely think of times where I've kind of unfollowed people online and also in real life as well for example let's talk about snapchat I don't know about you guys but I use snapchat a lot like that's actually sometimes my main form of communication with a lot of my friends or like people at school and you guys know senior year I'm kind of just like wanting a new chapter in life you know wanting a new environment I've been stuck around like the same people basically my whole life and so something I've been doing with snapchat is number one turning my notifications off which has helped so much because I'm not like checking my phone all the time or like picking it up once I see a notification right away. So I've turned it off and that's helped me so much like not go on my phone as much. And then also another thing is leaving private stories or unadding people that just don't serve me and serve my life anymore. Especially like negative ones. Like if you find yourself looking at someone's story and having FOMO or comparing yourself or just overall feeling more down about yourself, it's probably not the best idea to have them on social media anymore. And then the same thing works with Instagram or TikTok. Like if you're seeing people on your feed and it's leaving you more sad or like negative than you were before seeing their posts, just unfollow them. It's literally no harm. How I see it is you're protecting your peace and that's literally something I've been prioritizing for like the past few months and it's made me so, so happy. And then kind of the same thing goes on with in real life as well. To unfollow people in real life, you can start distancing yourself or like totally cutting yourself out from toxic or negative environments. I think overall, I'm just saying it's really important who you surround yourself with or who you choose to look at on your phone. So I don't know if anyone needed to hear that, but if you did, maybe think of it in your life. You can reevaluate the people you surround yourself with or the people you look or watch on your phone and just think, is it really beneficial? I think 2024, I'm just on this road of like taking care of myself, taking care of my peace, just focusing on the people who actually matter in my life and definitely not the ones that add more harm than help in my life and doing little things like choosing to not be on my phone as much or like lessening my screen time. If that serves to my peace or my happiness that I'm totally doing it. I know I'm probably not the only one that's like glued to my phone sometimes. Like sometimes I catch myself, my screen time is so high and I'm like, oh my gosh, Nicole, like, what are you doing? I'm like, go outside, like, go touch some grass because this is not the whole world. What's on here, it's not the most important thing and there's so many other things to prioritize and to look forward to in life. So yeah, maybe try that out in your own life, like lessening your screen time. Just more trying to focus on the present moment and being grateful for what's in front of you. Personally, that's contributed to my own self-care and definitely like my happiness and peace in my life. Okay, that's all I had to say. Back in the car, guess where we're going? <laughs> Me and mom are getting couples massages <laughs> and dad is just dropping us off. <laughs> I wanna get a couple's massages. <laughs>
<laughs> Dad's always the third wheel, sorry to say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. This is going to be much needed. The past few weeks, I've been trying to get my body more into the gym and dance. It's been sore a lot. So I'm very excited for this massage. It's also my first time at this place. And apparently, there's like a sauna. Like, it's really nice. There's a sauna. And there's like tofu soup served after. <laughs> so, but I'm just going to relax. I just hope it's soothing. I can't wait. So yeah. Us post post massage with your mom's forehead line. Dude, Susan, God sent. Oh my God. What are the kids do? Chef's kids. Susan. <laughs> it was really good. Oh my God. I literally felt so taken care of. She no, called heard me you. like a You're... baby. <laughs> okay, yeah. We got full body massages, an hour and a half. It Bro. went by like really fast though. I enjoyed every minute. No, yeah, it was really good. After the massage, I started clapping and I hugged her. Okay, that's what I heard. I was like, oh, hey, bravo. <laughs> she comes out with this line on her forehead and she's like, best massage ever. Every time she like went to the spot I'd like, I'd do this. <laughs> so she would keep. Yes, Susan. <laughs> what was yours name? My girl was Jessica. It's all about Susan, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but we just ordered tofu soup, kimchi fried rice, and ramen. People usually order one thing each, but a little picky here. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we went. Look at her. She looks renewed. No, yeah, for real. Much needed. You can tell by the line. <laughs> no, I'm still like on a on a high. On a high. From Susan. Mm -hmm. Well, shout out Susan and Jessica. from the spa currently 9 30 p.m and it's almost time to go to bed but i just took an everything shower and i feel so clean and so good now but what would be a self-care video without doing a face mask of course so i'm gonna do the fenty skin cherry dub face mask and this stuff is so cool look at this it looks like jelly i used it in one of my other videos when um i originally got it sent to me in a pr package and i really liked it so i'm gonna do it again tonight but while i put on this face mask i'm gonna tell you guys about my everything shower routine all the products i use and like what order and everything step one turn on the water and make it really really hot <laughs> i'm the type of person that loves hot showers so i wait until the water is like steaming and then i'll jump in and then the shampoo and conditioner i use are the ones from john frida they're called the frizzies ones they have like coconut in them and they smell really good but i've been using them for a while and i really love them and then for body soap i will use the philosophy melon daiquiri body gel also really really been liking that product i'm like almost out because i've been using it for so long now but it's pink it smells so yummy and it works really well so i'll just do that all over my body oh and i forgot to mention i'll like leave the shampoo and conditioner in my hair while i'm washing my body so that it kind of just has like time to sit in my hair and wash it fully and then once i wash my body soap off then i'll wash out the soap in my hair next we have my shaving routine the razor that i use is the intuition one it's the one that has soap already in it so it's literally Really like a two-in-one step and it's so nice i have the pink one of course but sometimes if i do want to add more soap i'll use the first shave cream and i've been using that one for a while now too and i really like it all of these products i definitely recommend because they're like my all-time faves and i do this routine at least like once or twice a week i'll also use the tree hut exfoliator the one i'm using right now is the frosted sugar cookie one but any flavor or not flavor any scent that they have they all smell so good but that exfoliator is so nice and it's good to do that when you shave to like rub off all the dead skin and everything and then that's pretty much it inside the shower I'll usually end with like a cleanser for my face, but now we have the after shower routine I'll use Victoria's Secret bare vanilla lotion and I use the sparkly one it smells so yummy It works so well and then I'll also use the John Frieda frizz ease spray It's a leave-in conditioner So it's really beneficial when your hair is dry and those are all the products that I use for my everything shower routine I pretty much use the same products for like my everyday shower routine the everything shower though That's when you like exfoliate shave all of that and again, like I said, I'll do that like once or twice a week All right, but now i'm gonna leave on this face mask for like 10 more minutes wash my face face, brush my teeth, do the rest of my skincare, and then we will unwind for the night and do the rest of my night routine. You 
guys, I'm so excited to get into my bed right now. Literally, one of the best feelings in the whole entire world is after an everything shower, getting into bed. But now I'm gonna do the three things that I do every single night before I sleep, which are journal, read, and pray. And that's very similar to my morning routine. Every single morning when I wake up, I always drink water, journal, and pray. 2024, I've been trying to make these things into habits just to like start my day and end my day with kind of alone time and peace. And overall, 100%, they've contributed to my self care. But speaking of habits, I read somewhere that it takes 21 days, which is three weeks, to officially make a habit. And the day that I'm filming this, I got so excited when I saw the date this morning. It's currently January 21st when I'm filming this, and I've been doing these three things in the morning and these three things at nighttime. So that means I've officially made them into habits, which I'm very proud of myself because I really do enjoy them, and I've totally found a difference that like I'm just doing things to take care of myself and my happiness. But anyways, I'm gonna do my journaling right now. This is the five minute journal from Intelligent Change, one of my favorite ones of all time. I've used it for a few years now, and then I also just have a normal notebook which is lined paper, and this is from Papier. But 2024, I really wanted to make a habit of journaling more because like before this year, I don't know why, but it just never really stuck with me. Like I would just kind of forget to journal or I would literally be like, what do I write about? But so far in 2024, I've been doing a pretty good job with keeping up with journaling. And I think the reasons for that are, first of all, I keep them on my nightstand. So like they're really easy access. Right in the morning, I just grab it. And then right at nighttime, I do it right before I sleep. But I think another reason too, is that it's just like an extra release. I write about things that I'm grateful for. I read about how my day was like, or highlights of my day. And it kind of I just, I don't know. Sometimes you just want to let things out, but you don't want to talk about it. So it's kind of nice to just have a space to write somewhere, you know? But the five minute journal one is really nice because it's guided. There's a quote at the top, a morning entry, and then a night entry. And then for the regular notebook, again, I'll just kind of like write about my day. I'll just do like one page for one day, or maybe two if I have a lot to say, but I'll just recap. I'll do the positive things that happened in my day, maybe some negative things if that happened. And overall, just write about like my emotions or like how I'm feeling. And then usually at the end, I'll just talk about things that I'm grateful for or just thanking God for this life that I live. But yeah, it's kind of cool to think at like any time I can just flip back to a page and read what I was feeling that day. It'll especially be cool if I keep up with this habit and by the end of 2024, I can like read back how I was as a person at the beginning compared to the end. So hopefully I can stick to it so that I can have my journals to reflect on me as a person. And then next I will also read just like a chapter or like at least for 10 minutes. I finished Kite Reiner yesterday and it was so, so good. But now I'm trying to finish 101 essays that will change the way you think. This is a self-help book and it has so much good advice. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for one and then last but not least i'll just pray before i sleep again just thanking god for this amazing life that i get to live asking him to guide me and to give me strength for whatever i'm going through at the time but yeah i'm just really grateful that i've found these habits and they're working for me and they contribute to taking care of me my happiness and my mental health but with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and do those three things and then head to bed And this concludes my self-care routine and my self-care day. Thank you guys for coming along with me. And again, I hope you guys can take a day or a night to yourselves and do a little self-care of your own. If you guys stayed till the end of this video, comment down below like the spa girl emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment down below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the family channel, and turn on all the post notifications. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye.